Alright, let's try it out with the scav run, I suppose. I don't know, put some of the stuff away. Oh, hey, Joe. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. How was your Memorial Day? It was not bad. Not bad at all. Did you get some rest, at least, for today? A little bit, yeah. Nice. Did a lot of stuff, too. I mean, got up and my wife and I bathed the dog. I took my car up and scrubbed it down because she drove it up into the country and it just had shit all over it. Like literal shit? Probably some more <laughs> Lots of bugs, tons of bugs. That's awesome. That sounds fun, though. Yeah, there's, I mean, because of the Amish buggies, there's poo on the road, so. Yeah, that's what I figured. Did you play any Tarkov today? Played a couple raids, not much. Yeah, I didn't play any. Huh. I was tired, dude. I didn't push that video out until like 3 a.m. Really? Yeah. Well, I debated like publishing it at 3 a.m. I was like, nobody's going to watch it at 3 a.m. Yeah, I went to bed at mid a little about 10 after midnight. Yeah. No, I was, dude, I sat there and recorded, cut, recorded, cut. Oh, my gosh. It was uh... it's kind of daunting. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just like, I, I, cause I had already recorded all the footage, you know? And so I was, I was basically recording audio after the footage was taken. So I had to kind of like line it up and cut the audio so that it lined up with what I was doing. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it was just one of those situations where I was like, do I just sit here and keep tweaking and keep tweaking and keep tweaking, which will just take me forever. Or do I just say, hey, man, this is good enough. I just want the content out so that the information's there, you know? So I'll, I'll get better with it as uh, I get more practice doing it, but... It was pretty good for your first time. Yeah, I like, I got some good feedback on Reddit, and uh, people gave me some uh, other su suggestions on some other topics to do, so I'll probably put that in. I'm going to try and do those, like, once a week. Like, I'll try and get, like, something like that up every Friday. And then just continue doing highlight videos and stuff throughout the week. I had a crazy idea. What's that? I don't know if this would be content or not. But, like, if we had all four, if, like, Eric played, Jason played, and us, of course, us two, we had four people, and everybody just went in different colored tracer rounds, and just had like a just like mags full, and just like dumped them into the sky and recorded it. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, so I thought about doing some like that's like a theatrical or cinematic type video, you know. If and and that's why uh, my buddy Johnny he does music. So like if he if he gets me some like solid music, then I think something like that, and then you know showing. You know, the PMC's running to a location all together and being able to get, like, different angles and, like, getting, like, being able to basically be a cameraman in the raid. That would be cool. And then, you know, get some, like I said, get some good music behind it and just basically almost make it like a movie, you know? I, I, I think that could be, that definitely could be something to look into. It's, uh, that's one of those, like, that's, so my idea is to be able to have like multiple different types of content like that and it's just like it can't be the only thing i do in my eyes and it has to be like a um it has to be like supplemental stuff so like gameplay footage highlights and stuff like that on a regular basis basically anytime i play i try and get a get some sort of content to post and then guides once a week on I'm going to try and do these tips and tricks and like different types of things that people may not know about the game. Cause like I looked it up, I looked up the guides for Tarkov and they're all like 30 minutes to an hour and a half, 
like here's a full breakdown of everything and i mean they're they're, they're fantastic they're they're like they're i would rather have something short too and so like that's why i was like man like if i can just put out like a three to five minute hey did you know about this type of stuff uh once a week where you don't have to sit down and, and basically make it a a movie you know like to watch it and so I, those guides are great like if you need help getting started with tarkov they the guides that some of these people have are just next level like they're chapter chaptered out they have like examples and gameplay footage and you know where to go to find information i mean they're they're fantastic and thorough and amazing and i just don't think that i can make anything that long especially you know with a, with a limited audience so i'm like if i can make three to five minute videos where it's like hey these four or five tricks you can implement into your gameplay tomorrow or today and you know they could either help you or make things a little bit easier i think that i think i can i can definitely handle that nice so that's that's my that's my angle right now is that i want to make those like a weekly thing and then like i said i want to do gameplay footage if i get you know funny clips or good gameplay uh type clips I'll, I'll publish those as often as i can so that it's like i got content coming in all the time but we'll see i'm I'm just having fun with it i mean i had I had a blast making making that guide and, and i know for a fact that some people don't know about some of those things like i i, I watch streamers play that don't even do half the stuff like and they probably do know exists. It's just there's such a habit of doing it one way that they don't use some of the ease tri like the easy things to do. And so yeah. the, the audience that watches them, they never get to see it. So they may not even know that it exists, you know? Like, the, like I don't ever see anybody go into their inventory from the insurance screen ever in a live stream. Like I, and when I first learned about that, like... How do you do that again? Just when you're in the insurance screen, you just hit tab. Oh, you hit the tab? Oh, okay. Yeah, once you're like in your, you're in there to, you know, give you know, pay for your insurance to proper, you just hit tab and it takes you back to your full inventory. Nice. And you don't have to go back. And so it's it's things like that where I'm like, these things are actually really cool, but because everybody's in the habit of doing it the way they're doing it, they don't ever get to see the other way. So that type of stuff, and then like I think the, the tagging the mags, when I learned that you could tag mags, I, I think that's the coolest thing ever. Yeah, I wish you could tag backpacks because, like, sometimes, like, if we're going to play and I do have time ahead of time, like, I'll put her, I'll, like, be like, this is a RFB rig and this is a, this is a shotgun rig for customs. And that would be nice to be able to do that, too, shovel that stuff in a backpack have it labeled you just throw the backpack on your character and disperse your stuff out of the backpack. yeah i think they have plenty so the mag tagging is actually recent not like i think it was like this like a wipe and a half ago or something kind of recent but i think they have plans of being able to tag like rigs and backpacks and the, the the important thing about rigs is simply at the beginning of a wipe you can tag your rig and say this is where i keep my meds since you don't have a med case at the beginning of the wipe you know yeah I use, so i mean that's I have like 10, it seems like I have 10 of them full of crap at the beginning of the white. Yeah, and so, but that's like the whole point is like, can I give people some tips that they can use at the beginning of a white? Because nobody's going to tag mags right now. Nobody needs to, but it is nice to, because I see people who top load them with good ammo. And I know what their intention is when they top load it with good ammo. They want to be able to reload and have a fresh mag and know that there's good ammo on top. Well, the problem you have with that is that you're not going to put a full magazine worth. So, like, the first five or six bullets, if you miss those five or six bullets, you got to reload to get that good ammo back. If you just make a full magazine of good ammo, then you know that you can reload it and you can spray with that, that magazine. And you have all good ammo coming out of it. Um, I, I, think, I think I'm going to do a uh, scav run real fast. I was... Uh, I really got to find these syringes. I need eight more syringes. I need, I need a thermite. Just one thermite? One thermite. But I'll probably have to go to... I rarely see it on Shoreline. I see it on Shoreline all the time. What are you talking really? about? I probably have like eight thermites because I find them on the shelves. I find them on the shelves all the time, man. Shit. But we can Same. do... Where do you think you can find... I, I know you can find thermite really easy in labs. 
you can find Thermark early. It's all over the place on uh Lighthouse. I'm not playing. Lighthouse, I, yeah. I'm not playing Lighthouse. No, well, Lighthouse is easy as a scav, but I Lighthouse tanks my computer right now. It does mine too. And I just I don't I don't know. I mean, I guess as a scav is fine, but okay, I'm in shrine at uh middle of the night. All right. All right, I was just moving some stuff. I gotta get had Take insurance. I'm gonna go grab something to drink real quick, anyways. All right. Well, I was ready, but you know, <laughs> I'll just wait. All right, I I have so much crap in my inventory. I just want to delete it. All right, you ready? All right, well, now that you're back, I am going to go grab a drink myself. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, uh, you're in the queue, aren't you? Uh, we're we're deploying. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I I was like, I, I thought you were back earlier. Oh, I I ran in here and clicked yes because I heard it come up, and then I continued doing what I was doing. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 you're good. I was just making sure that I wasn't imagining things because that would have been hilarious. No, yeah, I just, I was like, I grabbed something to set it on my desk, and then I hit the men's room right quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've been, uh, like, super thirsty tonight. I sat outside a lot today. Yeah, right, probably dehydrated. Probably a little bit. I mean, I think you're real hot, but I mean, like, we went outside and threw my dog's pool down and bathed her, then I went up and washed the car by hand i mean i didn't run it through the uh, well at the spray and wash i was up there for like 15 minutes to get this, all that stuff off my car and then i brought it back and threw a quick coat of wax on it to tr try and get the rest of the bugs out and then i just sat on the porch for, for quite a while with the wife but yeah i mean Susan, I, yeah. You, mean, you probably you probably sweated it out a little bit i mean even if, the problem you have is that a lot of times you don't realize how much you're sweating or how much water you're losing that's true. And then by the time I you're thirsty. Grew... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I also grilled, so that's probably another way to get hot and sweaty, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. What'd you grill? Did you go to the zoo? No, we did not, because um, wife got home late from work. She got home at, like, 7. And so she needed to sleep, and by the time she was up, I was like, yeah, we get to, like, because going to Columbus, I mean, it's only an hour away, but. Oh, the Dude, plane. Yeah, I can barely hear anything you're saying. I had to turn down the game. loud. Hmm. 
Is it gone now? Not really. Okay, now that that's done. It was so loud. Yeah, I, th I don't think you were in the game yet when you were talking to me, and I couldn't hear anything you were saying. Oh, uh, yeah, I, got, I got, got in about 30 seconds after you. Alright, well, I ran through terminal, picked up everything that was in there. I'm going up towards the plane. Okay. Where did the plane drop? No, I mean the helicopter. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going that way instead of the hole? Yeah, yeah I don't. I was just going to run straight up here. Mostly because if you go up the hole and the uh, cultists are right there, they'll just kill you. That's true. That's where they spawn at. Yeah, they'll spawn on that side. If you come up by the helicopter, you can see them on east, and then you know they're there. And you can usually avoid them. But I'll, I'm going to run to east. Okay. Well, I, came, I did a, a couple nights ago, I did a raid where I came in as a scav, and I walked out to the hole, and there was like... Cultists everywhere, dead on the ground. It oh, that's great. the I best. Was, I was loaded down. Yeah, that's always fun. Особенно вот тот паренек в белом красавле. Разумел. Ха, ну и что, нормально? Шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Ха. There's some AI over here. Was that you that jumped? Yeah, it was me that jumped. Okay, I'm going up on to two or three. Okay. I'm on two. Make sure you check the shelves. That's where I find thermite all the time. Okay. And then I sometimes find it in admin. I have found it in admin before. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, there's a cat in your favorite room. I came up to two. I'm on two. I'm going into two eighteen right now. Yeah, doesn't look like anybody came up here. No, I don't think so either. Did you check the medical bag that's around the balcony? syringes I'm gonna go up to three Yeah, I don't think anybody came on the east. I mean, considering that uh, nothing's unlocked, most of the stuff isn't looted. I'm on two in dead man room. Oh, okay. Couch room? Yeah. Well. No, no. On two. Oh, the other. Okay. Yeah, I already hit the one on three. There's really nothing in there. About to run over to west. Copy. I'm gonna check this bag and see for you. Okay, awesome. Oh, that was a good check. They had an oscope in it. Nice. Going to one on west. Okay. I'm gonna check the shelves to see if I find a thermite for you. Appreciate it. Yeah, the, 
I did the scav a little while, about two hours ago, and I had a freaking lion, I had a Bitcoin, and a freaking um, a intelligence again. That's the fourth intelligence in like two weeks I found. Nice. And the uh, uh, drawers? In drawers yeah. yeah. Drawers and in ground stashes. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. I'm glad they're moving loot around. That makes things a little more interesting. Are you on two? On, uh... yeah, 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 I'm coming down. I just crossed the breeze on two. Okay, okay. Uh, did you just jump through some barbed wire or something? No. Might be. That's what I thought I heard. Might be a player scab. Is he calming or saying anything? No, he's not saying anything. He's stuck in this room over here where the barbed wire is. I would go in there, but he might kill me. He probably will. I think it's funny when the AI scabs get hung up in places. It's hilarious. I'm, I'm on two towards you. I'm towards the stairs of the windows. Okay. I'm on a balcony. You did not... Gun case. I'm not on two, by the way. Oh, you're on three? No, I'm on one. Okay. I assume you already hit three. Uh, yeah, I hit a little bit of three. Let me running. Going okay. towards the basement. More soap. Every bag I've searched has been soaked. Yeah, soap's pretty common. Because nobody picks it up. It's not needed, really. I'm going to basement. The only time you needed this is if you want to craft Vaseline. Yeah. Or is it the gold box, the gold powder stuff? Mm, I don't Golden know. Seal or whatever the hell it's called. Golden Star, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. say gold bond because it's like a brand of lotion and powder and stuff that's coming in the US. Yeah, it's more like Tiger Balm. Yeah, it's exactly like Tiger Balm. Mm -hmm. It smells just like Tiger Balm too. Tiger Balm is freaking amazing. I, I like Tiger Balm. I used to like bathe in that stuff. I'd like put it on before I go work out. I'm not walking towards you. I'm in the basement. Somebody was on the same floor as me. On two. On two? I told you there was somebody up there. Yeah, they came in the area where I was at and I just ran out. Alright, well you want to go to admin? Sure. Alright, I'm going to come up the stairs from the basement. That you running on one? Yeah. I'm going into the little middle closet. Yeah, I'm already towards admin. Okay, I'm coming that way then. I'm going to the right. Okay. I'm sure it was that guy that was on. I wonder if he checked the drawers. I'm one to bet he didn't. I found a computer with two power supplies. Good. So far all I've found is two keck tapes. Yeah, keck tape. 
Keck tape is sells sometimes pretty decent. Depends on how many people are crafting like boxes and stuff. Yeah, sure. Well, no intelligence this time. No sign of intelligent life anywhere. Nope. I gotta go to North Fence. Uh, so do I. All right, let's go then. Did you get the bathroom bag? No. Okay. The, sometimes medical shit spawns in there. Yeah, I've hit so many bags. Like. Yeah, we'll just roll. Somebody Back. jumped on uh, West. Yeah, I heard that too. Probably the other scab that was up there. Sounds like he's running across the bridge. I reported a guy earlier. Oh, yeah, for what? Same guy, back to back raids. That's kind of. Eh. Weird. It's happened to us before. I mean, I yeah. don't. Everybody's, everybody's all up in arms right now about cheaters. Why? What's going on now? Uh, people are just. I don't know. I guess people think that there's a lot of cheaters right now. I mean, it's possible, but. And then I guess it, it's probably going to depend on the servers you play on. That guy's happy. Oh shit. He's like, I just extracted. That was so loud to, for him to be extracting. Like, that sounded like it was not at Road to Customs. Yeah. I had something weird happen in the game earlier. I was playing as a scab. And like all of a sudden, my sound went on like I had a headset on, and I didn't. Yeah. Like well, the game glitched. The game's glitching a lot lately. Like, you see how bright it is out here? It shouldn't be this bright. It'll like flicker off when you get to a certain area. And like, I wonder if other people can see me. Easier because the lighting's messed up. Like the uh, like once the lighting corrects, I wonder if it only corrects on my side. See that I don't know. Because I was running around here the other day, it was bright. Like oh, there it goes. Yep, it's like somebody turned off a switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wonder if like somebody else, it doesn't turn off like that, and so they 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 would just see me like plain as day. Right, it is yeah. weird. Yeah, earlier I had the the like, like just the simple like drowned out sound you hear when you don't have the headset on, and all of a sudden like just sounded exactly like I had put on a headset. Well, yeah. It, was like, it it does that to me too, where it like even with the headset on, it like clears up or it just gets louder, and you can hear more of the wind and like. Yeah. Yeah, the game is just um. Game just oh. weird. It is a weird game. Like, there's just some weird bugs in it that, like, I don't think that they're going to be able to fix or replicate. Huh? I did a few things. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a terrible run, but it wasn't anything yeah. that I actually like need. <laughs> I guess that's the, the problem is that I don't need any of this, so.
All right, Joe, where do you want to go? We can do shoreline. Okay. You don't have to convince me. I don't know if I feel like dealing with customs right now. Oh, yeah? I need to kill one scav with the RGD-5 grenade. On customs? No, on any map. Kill a sniper scav. How do you do that? Run to power and toss a grenade on the roof. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never done that before. I mean, that'd be the easiest way to kill a scav, don't nice. you think? True, yeah. They don't jump off the roof, so it's just... they. they you might need a couple grenades to do it. I threw one earlier on customs at gas station, just tossed it over, and I heard... I, <laughs> was, I heard something go... Ugh! Oh, and nice. It was, one of, it was one of freaking Rashala's guards. Oh, nice. Even better. Oh, yeah. I walked out there and freaking was fighting another guard, trying to kill him, and... Rashala came running out and just annihilated me while I was fighting the other guard. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, Rashala can be brutal, man. He's a weird boss because, like, he's he's very easy because he's basically always unarmored. Well, you don't need high pen ammo to kill the guy. No, you don't. But like, he he gets into like positions and he'll just like, I don't know, just rat you to death. He's good at getting angles. He's just good at, like, hiding. Like, I don't know if it's angles. I mean, I guess technically that would be an angle thing, but... It feels like he's just good at, like, hiding while his guards do the thing. And then when you, like, come around a corner, he's just sitting there. And it's yeah, like, oh, exactly shit! What happened. I was trying to run from... I was fighting the other guy, and I had to reload with the shotgun, because I was running the shotgun. I had spent all my ammo. Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, I'm, like running behind this thing, and I'm lit, I've am lit. i been lit up by the guard already, and I'm trying to reload, and... He's just sitting there by the dumpster, and I was like, Brr. "Dang!" But at least the one guard I killed counted towards a quest. That's good. All right, I'm in there. Yeah, customs is a little nuts right now. I mean, that's not terrible. It's just, um... It's not... I, no, I'm telling you, like, I can't find the loot that I need on that map. Ever. Oh, no, like, mark, marked room is trash. Dorms are trash. Like, if you don't get the PvP in Crack House or Alamo, then you're not gonna get the PvP, or you're gonna run into, like, Extract Campers, or... Like, it's just... Uh, it's just a weird map right now. There, I went into... I hit marked room, I got the spawn and I hit marked room and I didn't have a backpack and I was really upset with myself because there was a SR-25 there was a SBDS and a MK I mean that's I was, that's that's it's, okay it's, but that's it's not three, it's three really good guns yeah but it's not marked room loot because I mean those aren't anything that you can't get off the flea market really easy yeah, it used to be you could get, like, cases and stuff. Well, like, the injector cases, when I got those, that was mark room loot. Because you, like, they're so expensive right now, and they're going to be expensive forever because they're such an OP thing. Now like, you can just throw it into your, you know, container and run off, and you're good. Yeah, they're amazing. I think it's one of the best additions to the game there's been. I mean, I think VoIP is. But... Oh, Vo VoIP's amazing. Yeah, I think I think VoIP's the best thing we've added. I, obviously, it doesn't work all the time, but... It does cause for some funny interactions, and... I mean, it has, in the, like, towards the, at the beginning of the wipe, when people are trying to get stuff done, they really don't actually want a PvP, and it's kind of cool. I think it, like, end of wipe, nobody cares, and they just want a PvP. Pretty much, so that's it. But it makes sense. I mean, not a lot of people are working on tasks right now. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's a lot of people working on tasks, because I don't think they think it's worth it. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the community is convinced that there's going to be a wipe within the next month. 
So they are looking at it like, why should I do tasks if I'm just going to wipe or if they're just going to wipe in the next month? Well, if I don't have tasks, I don't want to play. Like I have to have, I mean, I like the fact that they're giving us tasks to do it. Cause, I mean, it's still something to like, it gives you an objective. Oh no, I mean, daily tasks and weekly tasks are fantastic. I, I mean, I, I agree. Like those tasks that people may be working on. But like the task where it's like, <clears throat> like uh, killing P PMCs at night. Like I have a task where I have to kill 30 PMCs at night. I don't think I'm going to run into 30. I, th I think it's going to take me a long time to grind that quest. Kind of like me with this shotgun quest. It's going to be a hard one because everybody's so chatted right now. Trying to kill people with a shotgun is not easy right now. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I drilled a couple PMCs with a shotgun. But that was a Saga. Well, I, I killed, what, 10 last week with the shotgun. See, so you're already but, wrong. But I was doing it on... Well, I did some of it on... Uh, no, that was all... No, that was on any map. I did it on several different maps, so... I mean, that, that's the problem you have, is that you're constricted to customs. Right now, and <clears> I can't... <throat> Excuse me. And I'm having a hard time. No, but the, whatever they're doing makes there's no one place I can go to just get into a straight up fight. I'm getting, I'm just getting sniped by people that I don't know where they're at. Yeah, that is. Ah, oh, crap. Let me let my stamina go up. Oh yeah, I was getting hit with grenade launchers today. Freaking out. Uh, yeah. so long, and all of a sudden I'm dead. And you were killed by a grenade launcher. I was like, what the hell? Like, an actual grenade launcher, or one of the stationary mounted launchers? Uh, it might have been the stationary one. I don't know. It was just said grenade. I just heard boom, and that's it. I mean, I died to that one in labs. I mean, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that was. I mean, it was actually more funny, the fact that I headshot him, and if I was running any other weapon, he wouldn't have got me. But the fact that I was running that MP7... I don't understand how people run the MP7, honestly. I think it's a fun little weapon, but the ammo gets me every time. I used to love it, but I don't like I haven't ran it this wipe at all. I'll probably give it another shot. I have so many of them. I've had good success with the MP9 though. Not this late in the wipe, but early wipe, I ran the MP9 a lot, and it would work real well. Which side are you going in? I'm going in west. That's probably a good idea. I'm letting my stand come up. I'm coming now. I'm going to run up to third. We'll just kill somebody and get you some some ammo. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna run down to 301. Yeah, I forgot to bring any M80 with me. I got I mean I've got 60 rounds, but yeah, you should be fine then. There's three vases up here. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm about to grab one. Oh. Wow. There's a lot of shots over in east. Is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm hearing them. Go. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's excited over there. Yep. Happy, happy. That's I mean, near you? Not, that's me. We're at? On one. We're at on one. By the stairwell, kind of. The far stairwell, the hole. They on two or on one? I'm coming down two. Where are you? I'm in one of the medical offices. I'm not sure. 
on the glass side. Where are you getting shot from? He's out there running around. I'm in the room trying to stay alive. I'm almost dead. I got 63 health. I'm dead. <sighs> He's on the stairs. And he ate a lot of bullets. Just kidding, I missed every shot. I'm going to restart my game. That was uh, poorly executed. That dude wrecked me. Jeez, man. Yeah, I don't... Five. I don't... He just... I don't know. He just... I, I missed every shot on him. Like, I guess the stairs just ate every shot I had. Alright, after talking shit to the MP7, I'm gonna try and run it. Apparently, I never hit him at all, either. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That's it was weird. Like I put bullets at him. And I mean I understand that the stairs were there, but I was uh, at point blank rage with him. He he he's a he's a he's a tricky one. I don't get that. Yeah. Interesting. It is what it is, man. It is. Desync maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I mean I I may have, I, already, I may have already been dead before I fired the shots and didn't realize it. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I was almost dead anyways. I only had like 170 health when he came in and killed me. He tore me up. Yeah, no, I don't... I don't think there's anything fishy going on. No, I think it was desync more like... That was very desync-y where you fire a bunch of rounds and... You're like right next... To I mean, it's possible I missed him, but very unlikely. I don't know if I should just run APSX or if I should just run... I would run AP rounds. Yeah, but... Uh, whatever. But that's me. Alright, I hear you. Because everybody's thick as shit right now. The problem you have with AP rounds is you can't buy them. <laughs> that's true. I mean, I have like 500 rounds of it from finding it and everything, but... You just can't find it.
And this will probably be my last one. Oh, yeah, calling early? Well, I gotta go in tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, what is my telework day? I really don't even want to. <laughs> that sounds I, terrible, I need, but I need. I really could use one more day. Yeah, I hear you on that. And it's messed up because I just got off that training, but like, there was no break there. <laughs> you know, it's not like I was relaxing. Well, see, that's what, like me this weekend. I didn't really get to relax. I did a lot of stuff this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we did. We did quite a stuff. Quite a few things here too. Yeah, it always feels like your days off aren't really days off, and they're just concentrating on life stuff. Exactly. You don't really get, get caught up. Yeah, you don't really get. You don't really get a break. All right. Nope. I'm I'm geared up. Okay, I just need a gun real quick and some more RGD grenade. Oh yeah, you got to kill scabs still, don't you? Yeah, I need to go somewhere with scabs. I was hoping for some in there. Oh, yeah. I can't buy anymore because I've already bought the max. Oh, hell no. I'm not paying 25k for a freaking... Do you need me to bring you in some RGD grenades? Sure, bring me in just one. That's all. I, I'm just going to carry... I just carry two. I'll just buy it. That shit. I don't care. I don't know. I don't like, know. They're, they're just kind of junky grenades for 25k. Yeah, I can bring you in one. I got one on me. Alright, I'm in there. Oh, RGD grenades are actually really good. Are they? Oh yeah, man. I mean, all the grenades are good. I just you just have to know what application you're gonna make of it. That's it. Like M67, you know they have a long fuse time, so you have a chance to push when you throw an M67 because they're most likely gonna try and hide. But you have you know like eight seconds or something like that before the thing blows up. And then, you know, impact grenades, like, you don't get to, like, toss those into a place and roll. Like, you gotta hit, you gotta hit where they are with that. So. The RGDs and F1s, yeah, they're great. I'm gonna run a vector. <laughs> That's funny. You're gonna run a vector and I'm running MP7 on shoreline. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Go for it. Go for it. I mean, what, like, who cares? What the hell, yeah. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, we get caught out in the open anyways. It doesn't really matter. I mean, our whole goal is just that we're gonna rush resort, so. Yep. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't put a flashlight on this, did I? And some weird names. I don't even remember that. Man, I'm out of everything right now. I've got some scopes that have no sights. It's good. I'll just run. I mean, take sights. take your time, man. No, take your time. You don't have to run iron. So get a get a get a red dot.
Yeah, how do you remember this name when you're going to go log in? I don't even know what that means. Fluffy Panda. That's easy to remember. He's the 143rd Fluffy Panda. Must be a lot of Fluffy Pandas in this game. Man, Netflix is already sending me alerts about coming back. Are they really? Yeah, like like two days after my subscription expired, they're like, "Oh, come back for nine ninety nine." For how long? You know it, what it'll end up being is it's nine ninety nine, and you can only watch on one device. And that doesn't work for most people. Well, I mean, it it's not terrible. I mean, other than the fact I have two kids that may want to watch Netflix. Or like my wife will probably want to watch. Like the problem is, is the content they have in Netflix just isn't. They have one thing right now. They have Stranger Things. Like I watched the. Uh, I think I watched like the first four episodes before my subscription expired. Really. Yeah, and I mean it was really good, and like I really enjoyed the series. But I'm like I, like, and maybe I think about paying. When the next set comes out in what July. Oh, so you already watched all... Oh, so there's more coming out in July. Isn't there? I thought there was like a whole... Like another like six episodes or something like that coming out in July. Okay, see, I'm not sure. I know that they released a small... I've only, I'm on the second episode. I've got about 20 minutes left of it. Yeah, and I mean, they're like fantastic. Like, I, I there's no doubt that they're a great show. It's a great show. Dude, I love the heavy metal kid. He's freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, the characters are fantastic. The story's fantastic. Um, acting is, you know... Next level, like it's all great, but the acting is pretty good. I was just, I'm not, you know, I don't know if it's like I'll pay the twenty dollars once to watch all of them. Yeah, but, I, but like the rest of Netflix content is just, it's boring. Like it's regurgitated. It's, I, I, I get that stuff on HBO Max, and HBO Max is quote unquote free because of AT and T. So. Like I got to watch the uh, the new Fantastic Beasts, Fantastic Beasts, which my wife loves, you know Harry Potter and everything. So, like that's that's amazing. I mean, it was a movie that was just out in theaters like uh, two months ago, and now you know it sits on HBO Max. Netflix doesn't get those type of deals. No, they don't. And then you know Disney, Disney has all the rights to everything, so like <laughs> they get. They get, you know, Star Wars and Marvel and all those, like, so, like, I mean, it used to be because I liked, I loved, like, the Punisher series and the Daredevil series and the Mortal Fist series, and they were only on Netflix, but now they're on Disney Plus, so. Yeah, I liked those series as well. It was weird as, like, the Immortal Fist, the first season, was just, it was amazing. It was, like. It was so good. I didn't like the second season, though. The second season wasn't as good, but I liked them both. Most people hated it. I I liked the story. I mean, it, it, it probably doesn't fall in line with the lore, because like supposedly like Harold made the plane crash, and he wasn't supposed to have legs, and like there's there's you know it, it, they can't replicate it directly. You know they got to put their own little spin on it. But it was, I mean, it was really good done. I mean, it was really well done. I, I enjoyed it for its story. The kid that played him wasn't the best actor, but he, in those, some of the fight scenes were not as well as they could have been, but I still, I still loved it. Yeah, I mean, I don't like, but my thing is, is that I'm not looking at it like. I don't know. I, I wasn't looking at that series thinking. I want to see realistic everything. 
No, I just wanted to enjoy a martial arts superhero show. I mean, you go watch The Punisher, and... I mean, as far as gunfighting goes, none of that's realistic at all. No. But, you know, it's a fantastic show. I mean, you get a gun nut on The Punisher and be like, oh no. No, 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 he'd never do that. The dude would be deaf by the time, you know, he fired the third round. Or, you know, he, he took a shot, there's no way he would have bled out. I have to admit, the freaking, this, the Daredevil season that had the Punisher in it had one of the most intense scenes I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah, it was the, great. The, the prison scene was yeah. so nuts. I mean, that's where you saw his raw rage. Yep. Alright, I'm up by the fence. I'm going to wait for my stamina so I can run to west. Okay. Alright, I'm running now. I kind of wish that the 45 Vector had a burst mode. I'm just scabbing here. I don't know who those shots are at. I'm going upstairs. Okay. I'm on three. Well, be careful going down one. It's true. I didn't do so well with that last time. I'm going to come up to two then. Yeah. How did that scav tank all those shots? I'm at 301 right now. I'm locking 222. Those sound like they might be box truck or terminal. Is that what they sound like? At least from my spot. I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. I was opening the bag right when they fired, so it was hard to tell. You may be getting company soon. I'm going to get done here. I'm going to come down there. Okay. I'm on a graphics card. Nice. All right, I'm coming. This kind of sucks. Graphics cards aren't as exciting as they used to be because they're worth so little right now. But they're still fun. I'm on two. I'm gonna jump barbed wire. Okay. Or not. Were you just checking a box, by the way? Yeah, I just opened a crate. Oh, okay. Should probably be running the IR with this gun. Okay. I'm two sixteen unlocking. Be careful. I don't know if I heard your step or if there was something down the hall towards the zigzag area. It was probably your step and sound, probably. you know. I just heard a ricochet. Yeah, I heard the ricochet too. Coming, that's me. I think it was a terminal. I'm 
looking at the stairs. Copy. I mean, that's got to be terminal, right? I think so. I mean, if that's cottages, that's so loud. Oh, let's go jump barbed wire. No, 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 no. I just checked a room. It's me. We're gonna go down over here. Somebody's upstairs. They're walking. Actually, they may be outside. I think it's a scav. Yeah, it's a scav. <laughs> I shot him in the leg. He's running in towards the entrance. I'll throw out a there, then. He's running in towards the entrance where he came in. Okay, I'm. Was that. Was that your grenade? Somebody's shooting it from east. I'm still in the basement, by the way. It's my flashlight. Okay. Somebody was just shooting over from east. They might have been shooting at that scav that I shot. I don't know. I think they killed him. Oh, poor guy. Because I heard him yell. They at least hit him. I don't know if they killed him or not. For sure. I mean, I hit him through the window earlier. So when we go up these steps, we're going to have to kind of dodge and cover. I mean, we can go up the other steps. Did you break the glass down here on one? No. Hmm. I ran across the room into the... Okay. There's somebody on one, I think. That's me. This is me looking at you. Copy. I think there's somebody down the hall. Nope, they're on two. They're on two. Okay. I'd push down into the basement more. 
Is this, those stairs are terrible. Like, I'd go into the basement. Okay. I don't know what he's doing up there. It's all looted, so... I'm wondering if he's going to go down towards the barbed wire. I'm going to run down to the hall, the end of the hall. Okay. If you want to come up and take my position. That's what I was going to do. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm moving. Copy. Are they running? They're running. I'm coming back. He's dead. Nice. I don't know what he was doing looting that jacket. Running from the other day. Okay. Or I hear movement down towards zigzag, I guess you'd call it. Watch the stairs. So were they running towards the barbed wire, or were they running towards us? They, I just heard movement. I just heard somebody running in the, like somebody came into the door down there. I don't know if they were coming towards us or not. They stopped. I mean, I, it disappeared. Okay. I have not heard the movement since. So somebody might have ran in like a scav and went went somewhere. It like it faded away from us. Let's put it that way. Does that make sense? I'm gonna head down that way a little bit. I'll probably die. Oh. Um, I am dead. He's at the end of the hall. I, jeez, that what a shot. It, it, we're at at the end of the hall. Like by barbed wire, I imagine, or maybe he was above me. I don't know. He got me head top of head, so he may have been up like on third or something. That was okay. That, that scared the crap out of me. Holy moly! I'm dead on the stairs before I got to two. Okay. Yeah, that dude had to have been above. He had to have been on three. Must have. Because he hit me head top of head, one bullet. Yeah, I don't know. So he may have just ran up the stairs, and that's what you heard running. Damn, I just threw that RGD grenade right under a scav's feet. What a yeah, shot. I'm getting attacked by a scav right now, so I can't even go and deal with that guy. Yeah, well, he can't get anywhere from third except for there, so. True. If you haven't seen him come down the stairs, I don't know where you're at, but. I'm right under the stairs. I mean, that's assuming that he was up there. I don't know sure. where else he would have hit me from, but it was, um... It sure felt like it had to have been from the top. I'm going up the glass steps. Ah, uh, yes. Exit shoreline six times.
a wooden clock. Do three wooden clocks? I don't know. I don't even know if I'll be able to find that. Oh wait. That's a lot of wooden clocks. Lab, kill seven PMCs in the lab. <laughs> Alright, that's not gonna happen. Funny. That's a funny one. Hey, I'm gonna run a scav, so don't copy. I'm going to fight this guy. Do you want me to wait? No, go ahead and do your scav run. Mm, terrible times to do scav run. I want to do nighttime, but I just don't know where he's at. He must be on third. Yeah, I mean, he could have went to the roof. Maybe, and then ran down the metal stairs. That's the only flank he has. That's assuming he was on third to begin with. True. Okay. He's on two. Oh, no syringes, no extracts. Been very successful. Alright, good spawn here. Let's see if we can get some syringes. Did we start out with any? No. What is this crap? This junk, junk, junk. Oh, bind that just in case we get hit. Oh no, Sanitar! Oh no, take down? Alright. Oh, wait, this is a PMC. Nice. Just get rid of this duffel. That. Give me your Ketter. We don't need this. Uh, I don't know, keep this rig. The armor. All right, SPA. Where's the other guards at? So there you are.
No, oh, yeah, they're gonna be ripped. Um, I don't actually care about that helmet. Alright, find syringes. He's gone now. Jeez. I guess I'm just gonna get out. Alright, man. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that scared me. Holy moly. This game's a horror game some days. The pile of beds. Oh, look at all this stuff they dropped. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Spent a pack. Nothing on the ground. helmet. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Maybe they left me a syringe in here. No. No. No, they didn't. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, there is one. Oh, no. I just found a labs card. Nice. I was just talking about how I was never going to find a wood clock. Here we are. Yeah, he basically looted you up and freaking took off. Yeah, he must have really wanted that MP7, huh? He must have. We got the loot. We got a syringe and a wood clock. Yeah, I, had, I was fighting him up on second, shooting back and forth at him, trying to strafe. He wouldn't push out, wouldn't do anything, so I came down to one. And right as I came down to one, he went running right out the freaking hole and was gone. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. Did his buddy have anything on him? You know, I never went up and checked his buddy. What? You, go back. you can do whatever you want. But I can't believe you didn't grab that body. I kind of forgot about his buddy. Yeah. No, that's all good. I was so... I just wanted to fight the guy. I hear you. I, I mean, I couldn't tell what he had on him because I killed him in the corner. No, it was probably nothing. I wouldn't worry about it. What? Pro kill? Just sitting in there? Dang. Dang, we're gonna, we're gonna have to get out of this one. Let's see where we're supposed to go. Ruined house fence. It's Fetley. Ruined road. Lighthouse. All those extracts suck. Alright, what did you guys leave me here? A lamp? Ugh. A 1G phone? Alright. 
All right, all right. Broken LCD. Not that either. Tushanka. Man, this is junk. Mm, I think I missed this bag. Sure did. Oh yeah, missed all that morphine. Look at that health skill on the scav. It's like better than most PMCs. Alright. Um, I'm gonna get out of here. Well, apparently nobody hit east side. Oh really? I could have... There's a random dead body sitting there. I thought I heard something. No. Yeah, I found an O-scope in 219. Nice. Not super nice, but not bad either. It's free loot. It's free loot, yep. Oh. Dang. This is where the party happened. Well, well, he just, uh, I don't know why he was looting. Like, he had to have heard us. Yeah, I know, that was weird. And you're just wanting that loot in that jacket, I don't know. Apparently so. It's very important to him. Yeah, right. Wait, what? They didn't loot second floor, but they opened center. It's really weird. Yeah, I mean, I heard a shot come from east, so I know somebody was there.
pause, man. That log looked creepy. I don't know why it looked creepy, but it looked creepy. Is not the best hit fire gun unless you are really close. I've noticed that like the vector's just terrible hip fire. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty good ADS, but yeah. Just a whole bunch of nothing, huh? I mean, we did get the syringe and wood clock. That's a bonus. None of that. Pretty successful. Did you make it out? I'm heading next right now. I'm heading past cottages right now. Probably gonna run into fifty two player scabs over here. Eh. You'll be alright. Yeah, I just ran out over by terminal and just ran down the hill to cottages. Yeah, it makes sense. I should probably check the. T Do you think there's a chance of finding thermites in the stores here? Yeah, there's a chance. I don't know if you will or not, but yeah, definitely a chance. Okay, I'm gonna check the last house real quick. Run through it. You can go yeah. and do whatever. I mean, this is my last raid, so. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably play uh like one or two more rounds, and then I'm gonna be done. Cool. Well, I'd love to stay up all night and just play. I'm in that kind of mood. No, I, I hear you. Yeah, if I had to be into the office tomorrow, then I'd probably be jumping off, but... I, mean, I, got, I got a lot of stuff I gotta work on tomorrow. I just gotta deal with the office, folks. Although probably not many people will be there, but still people will be on vacation. Yeah, maybe. I mean, yeah, I can't believe it's Memorial Day already. 
I know. I love Memorial Day, though. I mean, I, I know it's a sad day. Well, I mean, it's a day to recognize. doesn't necessarily yeah. need to be sad. And I recognize it for that, but I also enjoy the fact that it's like the first day of true like warmth in summer. Yeah, see, I don't like that part. Yeah, I know. You don't like being hot. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It reminds me of like being a kid that summer vacation was coming and <laughs> yeah. It's too bad we don't get that as adults, man. Remember how great it was? It was just fantastic. What summer vacation? Oh yeah, summer vacation was the bomb. Yeah. Yeah, it was. But we don't do that anymore. Nope. I couldn't imagine somebody telling me, Hey, we're gonna give you three months off. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like you're firing me. <laughs> exactly. Like yeah, I couldn't imagine being you know being like, hey, we're gonna pay you, and we're gonna give you three months off, just because like you deserve it. I feel like no way. It'd be the greatest feeling ever. I mean, teachers get that kind of stuff, but they don't they get paid. Have- they, well, yeah, they have to budget their money so that they have money to live off during that time. Yeah, it's not all it's not all roses. They don't get paid enough as is, and then no, they don't. Then they then they have a three month quote unquote vacation where they get a second job. Like, like that. Like, if you want to improve education, then during the summer you should be paying them so that they can start organizing their stuff for the year yeah. up upcoming year. And and then allow like full pay, all everything. You know, yeah, they don't have students, but their job is to start, you know, processing lesson plans and strategies for the upcoming year and uh, making things better through the school year. Or in, and, and then they can actually concentrate on organizing things and, and getting paid it gives them a ease of mind of being able to, you know, have stability within their. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't I don't see why they don't do that anyways, but. Or pay them a lesser sum during the summer. Absolutely not. That would that would make people not want to do it That's even true. more. Like you, you can't. You, you definitely can't pay them less. You you have to pay them the same. I mean, they need to be raised anyways. But oh yeah, they all. Like imagine if they had three months where they can concentrate, like paid time. I know they all concentrate twenty four. So most teachers are fully dedicated teachers that are are doing work throughout the entire year the problem is they're not getting paid for it so they have to figure other things out as far as financial stuff goes imagine if they were getting paid to be thinking about those lessons plans coming up strategies for the upcoming year working with other teachers on other strategies like the the, the education quality would just it would rise so fast because they're getting paid to do their job yeah, you're right. And so, I mean, I'm, I'm a firm believer in that we should be paying them more and they should be able to get paid during the summer so that they can concentrate on working out the plans for the upcoming year. Well, what I was saying was is not like cut their pay, but like during the school year, their pay is higher. Like they make this hourly rate and then during the summer, there's a, a different hourly rate. I don't know. That's the way I some mean, jobs are. I mean, I, I, I'm... I'm fine with doing bonus. Like the problem that I have is like, I don't want it to be incentivized to not want to work during the summer or, you know, make it seem like it's worse during the summer for them. So, I mean, you can do like during the uh, year time, you can give them bonus pay for, you know, having students or something. And then during the summer, it's their base pay. But I still think that it should be, it should be flat across the year more than what they're getting and and allowing them to work during the summers organizing going to symposiums to you know teaching symposiums learning how to be a better teacher or a more effective teacher uh you know things like that where they should be paid to go do that stuff pay them to learn more so that they can bring it to our kids I mean, we're supposed to be investing in this, and and we we do the opposite. We don't invest in our teachers, and they're such a critical role in our society. They do get way done, way underpaid for what kind of abuse they take. 
Yeah, and then they have to freaking sit here and deal with these mass shootings and it's just it's it's a It's a weird situation and I, I definitely don't have any of the answers for it. Nobody but does. I can tell you that they should be paid more. <laughs> like just hands down they need to stop messing around. It should be basically like for one, if you're a teacher, your student loans are gone. And you give us, you know, five years of teaching. You sign a little contract that says you'll do five years of teaching and your student loans are gone because you're paying it back. Well, that's that, that, actually how um, there's a program actually at University of Dayton that does exactly that. Exactly that. Five years and you have to teach in a specific school. To I think I lost you there. I don't know if my internet gave out. Oh, I was going to say, I have a friend that did it. She went to UD, did a two-year program, and the two-year program was basically free, but she was contract. She was obligated to um, teach in a poor area or a less privileged school. I don't know how you would say it. Um, yeah, and so she gets she gets crap pay because they don't have the resources to pay her, but they give her, her they they forgive her student loans. That's not, I don't like that. Because they're not getting allocated enough money in that school. They're basically they're basically bribing people to come teach there, but not bribing them. They shouldn't have to pay their student. Like if you're a teacher for five years, you just you shouldn't have to sign up for whatever district. Well, this should be a nationwide program. It's a union job, though. The teachers are going to make all the same across the board. It doesn't matter what school she teaches at. Just people are not going to want to teach at that. They're going to be like, well, put me at this better school. No, no. That. But their pay is the that, same. That's the problem, though. Their pay is the same, but they're dealing with more. So it's not the same. It's like you say, It's like me saying, hey, man, you take the same pay, but you go work for this toxic leadership. Like, nobody wants to do that. And you have to incentivize people to do that. And incentivizing by saying, hey, we'll pay off your student loans when they should be doing that anyways isn't really an incentive to me. And that's my problem is that it's, it's we should be paying more. We should be paying the teachers more in those areas because it needs to be bolstered. It needs attention. And, and bribing some people to not have to pay their student loans by putting them there may make them less motivated to actually teach. But if you tell them, hey, we're going to give you more money for teaching in this area because it needs help, then you're going to get people who are like, yeah, I'm taking more money. I'm going to go help that place out. You're going to get people motivated to go do it. Money is the motivator, man. And, and you know, the problem people think is like, oh, we're giving you a teacher's discount or we're, we're going to give you, you get this sweet, awesome, you know, half off school supplies deal. And I'm like, well, teachers shouldn't be having to buy school supplies for their classrooms so that's not an incentive like, that's my problem with it is that like the things that we mask as an incentive aren't really an incentive but we make people feel like they should be grateful for it and that's like I, I understand like there's it's a it's probably a good program it just you can't because people are going to go it's not worth the money to go teach there and yeah, you're forgiving my loans. Thanks. That sounds like a good plan. But once they get into that situation and they realize that the money's not worth it because of how much crap they have to deal with, you need to basically throw more resources as far as like lower the teacher to student ratio. So you have to get more teachers. You have to pay them better so that they know that it's worth their time to be there. When you get kids that come in from broken homes that don't value education because they don't see the value in it, you have to get really strongly motivated teachers to get them motivated to learn. And the only way you're going to get those teachers is if you pay them. Like, we're not, we're, like, people aren't, not everybody in this world is Mother Teresa, Teresa who's going to go out there with the good of their heart and want to do it. You got to motivate them, and money is the motivator in this world. So, I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm sure it's a great program, and but I think that it needs to be nationwide and we need to stop pretending like we're giving people handouts when we're not. It's like, it's like we're basically asking them to thank us for not spitting on them. Like, that's, that's, that's not okay. I mean, with that program, my friend was pretty, pretty 
leave because it was an actual private school degree that she got that she didn't have to pay back. And the student loans would have probably been, for a master's, it would have probably been 75 to 100 grand. Easy. No, absolutely. And I'm not saying that the program is bad. What I'm saying is it looks good because of how bad everything is. And that's a problem. Like, it, like that type of deal. Hold on. All right, that type of deal is like a, a base deal in my eyes. Like we, that should be like the absolute minimum we're doing, but it's not. It's not even close. We're we're leaving teachers with seventy-five to one hundred thousand dollars in debt, and then paying them thirty-six thousand dollars a year. And we're saying, yeah, educate our children. And we're like, hey, I know that you're worried about money, but you should be happy that you're teaching children. Yeah, that doesn't work, man. If they're worrying about their money and financial situations, how good are they teaching? Hey, man, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, for sure. Pleasure, man. All right, we need to find syringes and wood clocks. We can start with that. That's okay. But we're gonna have some people pushing in towards Sanator's office. I don't hear anything going on right now. Of course. Of course. A little vector action. Search this? No. Show me a syringe. Nothing. I don't hear anything. I'm gonna go to Santar's office.
Nothing. There's nothing. Is that the zipper or glass? That was weird. Milk. Does the body good? Good bag. One step closer to elite strength. Oh, fuel. An awful lot I'm carrying here. Oh. I have not heard a single thing. I'm going to go to admin and die. This just doesn't make any sense. No, first thing I've heard it. A scav. He wants me to divide his cheek. And I like whiffed all those shots. too far. Mm-hmm. 
Because I should have brought a bigger backpack. Toothpaste. Sometimes I found those in bags. Oh, that guy's like, you scared the living crap out of me. What the heck was it thinking? Just come rushing up at me like that. I think I pooped a little. Jeez. I heard a shot. It's the first one. The whole read. I guess we'll go to... Dude, what is going on? Am I tagged and cursed or something? These guys are just up here pushing me. Did I do something wrong? Kill all their buddies? They're all mad? I don't know. Oh, nobody came over here either? Oh, I'm sure somebody's gonna come over here and kill me after I loot all this stuff then. That's how it goes. Or there's just not gonna be anything in here. That's another possibility.
Did you just open something? There's two of them. And I went the other way, huh? Hmm. So what direction do those guys go? Hmm. Not here. All right, well, those are terrible shots, yeah? Now we flank. that wood was weird It's possible they went down a terminal. I can't see under that window at all. I don't know if that's a scab running around in there or a PMC.
Hmm. Or maybe it was a bad flank. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I had to sneeze again. My goodness. attracted too much attention to myself. Those PMCs are probably pushing me. Which means I'll probably die in extract. GG's. That's why I didn't see the flank. His buddy probably just bolted off. Or was just camping the body. But I had no idea that I actually killed him. Alright, I'll do a little inventory stuff and then I'm jumping off here. I guess I'm insurance. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, um.
All right. Well, I need fuel, don't I? No. That's right. I found the fuel. Huh. Tell some stuff. Alright, well, it's time for me to jump off here. So, thank you for hanging out. I hope everybody has a good night. And I'll be on tomorrow night. Later.